save Call of Duty Black Ops Gold War? And my answer for you is no. No, it did not. But there are some things that we'd like to talk about. So, the fact that they added the PPSH-41. If there was any Vietnam anything, this would make sense. But for the fact of the matter that it's in the hands of the Soviets, makes no sense at all because it was already replaced by this point. PPSH-41 was pretty much exclusive to World War II with the Russians. I'm not here to get into the history. Swiss K-31, the new sniper rifle. Now this is actually one that does make sense as it was used by NATO and was distributed and used during the Cold War. Again, it was also pretty quickly replaced, but it makes more sense than the PPSH-41. Uh, only a new Outbreak map? I don't like Outbreak at all. It's fucking terrible in a lot of aspects. And there's some good aspects there too, but a lot of them are bad. Um, but Outbreak is fine. It's fine for right now if they added Berlin with it. Treyarch, Tra Tra you, you fucking money-grabbing son of a bitches. No, not really. That's more of Activision, but the fact you don't want to add too many Easter eggs to the game at one fucking time is absolutely ridiculous. We want Berlin. We want a round-based zombies map. Give us a round-based fucking zombies map. Duga. It's just another generic fucking map from Fireteam. Which also doesn't make any sense as you would have died with the radiation the moment you got there. It's one of the most dangerous places on the planet. Especially by this time. Okay, that rant is over. Let's get to some of the good things I found with the season. Uh, the way to earn melee, uh, the, war the way to earn weapons is different now. I love that. The fact that we no longer get to earn them through multiplayer is amazing. As some of them earning through multiplayer are impossible. So that's out of the way. You can now earn them in zombies, and that is a good thing. And I like it a lot. Um, the fact that we're on season three, and we get a PPSH 41. The only good thing I can say about it is that at least I don't have to download the shit World War II to, pl to play with the PPSH-41. Not like uh, Black Ops Cold War is any better, it's still, an unle it's still an unrealistic piece of shit and still boring and terrible as fuck. Um, boring as fuck. I only play it for the melee weapons so I can get every weapon. I just want the Swiss K-31 so I can complain to my friend about it. Uh, it's just all unrealistic pieces of shit, and it's still boring as fuck. The fact that nobody understands this is, frankly, kind of disappointing. The fact that everyone thinks that PPSH-41 makes sense, you need to get, you need to look up when it was out of service, because it was out of service by the Russians at this time. However, it didn't really stop anybody else from using them. So there's a Vietnam anything where we play as the Vietnamese and not the American saves the world bullshit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe would have made sense. But on the note of Warsaw versus NATO, or the other way around, you fucking American pigs, none of the outfits make any fucking sense in any historical context. They're all just fake bullshit. Every single outfit. It's just fake bullshit that Treyarch came up with while making this game. None of them are real. None of them were ever used. It's just all unrealistic pieces of bullshit. The most realistic operator is none of them. And the fact that Valentino wants to awaken Nazis to restart a Third World War doesn't make any fucking sense. This is the 1980s. There are no more Nazis. Even they are in the Dark Ether, they all got released at D Machine. They should still be in there. They're all zombies. They don't have any brains. <sighs> now, there's going to be a lot of ranting in this video, and I don't have that much time. I'm quickly running out, so I just want to get through all these quickly. As I don't want any disturbances in my video uh, background. The point system. This is the most bullshittiest thing about this game. The fucking, fucking point system. A 90 points for a kill with a gun, some 1500 points with a headshot with a gun, 
in some 230 with a fucking knife. You did not need to add that. It could have still been 10 points per hit. We don't need to know much how much fucking damage we're doing. There is a health bar for a reason. And that reason is completely useless when, it's still, when you're telling us how much damage we're doing. I'm not blinded by nostalgia. Yeah, I've played every game. Yet the fact of the matter is, I run out of points before I... Final, final thoughts on this game is that it's an unrealistic piece of shit with a terrible fucking zombie storyline. And you should never really play it if you ever really think about playing zombies. If you want to play zombies, I recommend Black Ops 3. Or hell, Black Ops fucking 4, as it's still like Black Ops 3 in certain aspects. I'm mostly pissed about the point system. But still, Triarchy, you outdid yourself with the shittiest fucking game I have ever seen on the entire fucking market. And trust me, I've seen how bad Black Ops 4 is.